New print shift, new mini. In this video, we're starting the print shift 3.0 build from scratch. First thing we're gonna do is build a Prusa mini. In order to make sure that printer is working well, we're going to print out these sets of print shift parts. That way you don't have to worry about any bugs coming from print shift or the mini. You know that the mini is up, running, and working. I'm just going to breeze through the install making comments, but not necessarily telling you how to do it. For that, you have Prusa's instructions, which are incredibly great. Mostly I just want to show off the build from start to finish. You can also check out the instructions for this on printshift3d.com. These are for your children. That's pretty neat. Looks like you can screw that on and lubricate your bearings properly. Nice touch. The assembly manual is really well done. However, the website is even more well done in that it has updated revisions and comments as needed. I'd really like to see them start shipping this with smooth on one side and textured on the other. Not sure why that's never been a thing. Set up. The only thing we're doing differently on this guy is we're going to attach the GoPro mount to the front corner so we can get you guys a sweet time lapse. What's going on? What'd you say? I didn't know you were down here. I am down here. Can you throw that away? Yes. Or we could save them for Hank. My gummy bears. You don't think Hank would like them? Really chewy. Yeah. Can you help me open the gummy bears? There's my gummy bears. Why'd you even get the gummy bears? You're supposed to use them as a reward for building the printer. Is this just slowly 
get a print? It's running some self tests now. Let's make sure that I did it correctly. I realize you can't see the installation here, so I'm gonna move the camera and show people how to install this. Isn't it supposed to print on the green? Yeah. But well, it's just running self tests for now. Let's put this in the spot. I don't remember what all the self tests are doing, but it's fine. You're supposed to read the instructions like as you go, but you know, I've done this a few times. Might as well just get her going. Goodness. What? The power supply was not plugged in. He's got it. Can you hold this on here? Right here? Yep. Yeah. Steady as you can. Is that good? Yep. Yeah. And then we're gonna do this. Are you making sure that people can do this? That's the theory. Are you making it so that so they can hear you? They can hear you. So, you put the camera on to the thing you printed. So, the next step is we're actually going to do some test printing. Uh oh. Oh, haha. -ha. I measured. You are now getting a close up look of the printer's face. The first thing we're going to do is a test print. We'll just print what's included with the printer. Then, we're going to print all the small parts for Print Shift. Those are best printed in PET G because they need to be warm. Pet G or ABS. I'm going to print the big old motor mount and the motor standoff. Final parts to print before you get started. I like to print the Pi case. Just a mount for a Pi 4 so that we have the Pi 4 in there right away. Need to load some PLA. through the calibration then we'll do a test print and then we'll start doing some real prints. Total build time including calibration is about 35 minutes. I have done this before but it really isn't that hard. It'll take you maybe an hour and a half two hours if you stop to read all of the instructions. One thing with the calibration is it doesn't tell you how far the nozzle is supposed to be off the plate. Are they going for a 0.2 layer height right now? It'd just be nice to know. For the print shift parts, I'm going to be using red PLA for the motor plate standoff and the rear motor plate. These just need to be stiff, so fairly high infill, I think three perimeters. First thing we're printing is the Benchy, of course, just to make sure the printer is working well. The conveyor belt parts will be in blue ABS. Any sort of high temperature plastic will work there. That's everything we need for the first step of the print shift 3.0 build. Thanks for watching and happy printing!